the wings of the air service. Have you ever wondered how Uncle Sam's pilots keep such accurate formations? Handling these flying engines in flight formation calls for the highest type of skill. Perfect coordination of mind and muscle is required merely to fly, but the formation flyer has to do even more. He has to fly his own plane automatically while he keeps his mind on the one ahead. He sees what's going to happen before each movement starts. A moment's hesitation would be just too much. For advance information on what the next move will be, he watches the control surfaces of the commander's plane. In close formation, he even watches the hands of the pilot next to him. If all the planes in the formation could fly five miles apart, it would be safer. But close formation training is important. Formation maneuvering is necessary for defense. The group is able to protect itself when each plane covers another's blind spot. To offset the element of danger, the flyer relies upon alertness. It is this constant vigilance that makes formation flying possible. On the ground, too, there are formations. Wherever automobiles are driven in numbers, there are the problems of many drivers close together. Safety for each driver depends on the alertness of all. If all roads were a mile wide, it would be fine. Then cars could travel a mile apart. But our highways aren't that wide. For the safety of all who ride in automobiles, all the care the formation flyer practiced in the air must be used on the ground. The formation driver has a bigger job than the formation flyer. He has to keep his mind on four cars at once. The car he rides in, the car ahead, the car behind, and the car around the corner he can't see. The careful driver keeps the flyer's view of his entire formation in mind at all times. There's nothing difficult about that. You understand it, don't you? Why, no. How can you be in the car and get an airplane view at the same time? That's a fair question. The idea is to keep a picture in your mind of what you're doing without taking your attention off your immediate driving problems. You may need a little practice. Suppose you get in this car and try it out. Maybe that will make it easier to understand and you'll be a better driver for it. Why me? I've never had an accident. Good, but get in anyway, just for practice. You can drive this nice white car. Might as well try it. There we are. How do you start this thing? Oh, all you do is step on the gas. Well, here goes. Let's get out of this parking lane. Wait a minute. Haven't even started yet. You've started plenty. Let's get up above and let the airplane view show us what might have happened if you hadn't stopped. See that white car pulling out from the curb? That's you. This is a picture of what you were doing just a moment ago. Now let's see what could have happened. By cutting around a double parked car, you might force a car coming up behind you into a car coming in the other direction. Before you cut into traffic, there are four things to think about. Look behind you, look ahead of you, remember the corners where the fourth car may be, and then signal plainly what you're going to do. Look behind, look ahead, Remember the corners, signal plainly. Right. It only takes a second longer, and we're off to a good start. Now let's go out Main Street and get into the country. Let's see now. It's Main Street I want, isn't it? Hmm. Better be getting, uh-oh. There it is. Turn right. Just a moment. Before you make that turn, let's get our airplane view. There's your car again, the white one. And here's another bad spot you could have been in if you hadn't stopped. When you cut in front of a car, you force that car into the curb, or if you try to dodge it, you'll find yourself in trouble with the car around the corner. You have to get in the right lane before making a turn. It may mean going a block farther in a case like this, but it's a lot safer. Fellow slips once in a while. And someday, once may be too much. We're not allowed slips in this business. Let's get on our way. 
Well, wonder who'll win the game today. Look at that guy ahead, poking along. I'll pass him in a hurry. Wait a minute. Remember all four cars and get an airplane picture of what might happen before you try to pass this car. There's your white car behind the two black cars. The four cars aren't always in the same position, but they're still part of your formation. Now watch. The car ahead of you had a right to pass the car that's stopping. But you should wait and keep on your own side of the street. You must keep your mind on more than one car ahead, on as many as necessary for the protection of your formation. One car, more cars. Mm-hmm. It's a nice day anyway. Wonder what we'll have for dinner. Why, that fellow looks like... It is. It's Joe. Hey there, Joe. Watch out behind. Remember the four cars. Let's go up again and let the airplane view show us what might have happened here. The white car you are driving is in front this time. Can you see what's going to happen? Let's watch. When you decide to stop, get over to the curb where you belong and let people know what you're doing so this won't happen. If you must loaf along or stop, stay close to the curb. And always use the proper signal before stopping, passing, or backing up. Hmm, swell place. Must cost a lot to keep it up. Wonder how much... Watch what you're doing. Uh-oh, that voice again. There isn't any traffic. What's wrong this time? You're not keeping your mind on your driving. And you haven't kept that airplane view in mind. We must be just as careful on the highway as on city streets. See what might happen to you here. Remember that car around the corner. Let's watch warning signs and slow up for crossroads and curves. Anytime we're behind the wheel of a car, the important things are to look where we're going, think what we're doing, and keep our minds on our formation. Well, that airplane view is sort of clever, and it may help me to keep my record good. Right. Always remember the four cars. The car we're riding in, the car ahead of us, the car behind us, and the car around the corner we can't see. Keeping a complete view of our position in mind at all times will keep us out of trouble. We drivers can reach a new high in safety when we keep the ordinary rules of watchful and careful operation. And remember all four cars. Yes, all four cars.